Restaurants everywhere have been setting up tables on sidewalks to try to make some money during the pandemic. But in this particular case, this stretch of sidewalk is blocked off by red tape. We ended up with six tables out here. We it seems so simple. Muckle Tio's Diamond Knot Brew Pub, struggling during the pandemic, wanted to put tables on this sidewalk just outside their building. The city granted permission. Everything was going well. Profits were up 15% for a while. The staff's making money. We're making money. Everything's going well. It was, it was a punch in the gut. That punch came from one single complaint filed to the state's Recreation and Conservation Office. It turns out Diamond Knot does not own that sidewalk. In fact, the sidewalk is technically part of Lighthouse Park across the street. The RCO has say over land issues there. Bottom line, the state said a private business cannot use public land for profit. So Diamond Knot had to shut down their outdoor dining after barely a month. Muckleteo Mayor Jennifer Gregerson thought the state could bend the rules a bit. I was hopeful that there might be, uh, you know, ways to use the emergency order or use the restrictions of the pandemic to say that, you know, this is a one-time um, allowance because of these circumstances that we're in right now. These restrictions are beyond our control. The situation is beyond our control. And we're just trying to survive. Is government getting in the way here? I don't think government is getting in the way. Government is just trying to protect the rights of the people. The RCO's Marguerite Austin says this sidewalk belongs to everyone, not just the city or Diamond Knot. Is there a way here where we can cut through some of the red tape and help this business stay alive? We do care. What our issue is, is that we are we do have an obligation to the to the people of the state. Meantime, the brew pub even asked the governor's office to step in, but that request fell flat. We were told that it would be a waste of their office's time. So how'd that make you feel? Oh, terrible. The state says it is willing to try to work out a solution with both the city and Diamond Knot, but that'll likely take a land transfer, a vote by the city council, all things that'll take weeks, if not months. In Muckleteo, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.